I love teaching this course because I think it integrates ideas from a bunch of different worlds that students have learned about before, but in the real world they're going to have to apply them all together. So it takes a little bit of learnings from leadership, takes a little bit of learnings from engineering design, and a little bit from project management. Sure, we know engineering is super technical, but think of anyone you know who works as an engineer. Uh, also, a lot of their job is social and the way in which they um, get interesting work and get things done in their organization or in the world is by working with other people. So it's funny that we go to school and we learn this great technical foundation, but often as engineers we are uh, reluctant to think that leadership is something that we should work on and can learn about. An important lesson that we learn in class early on, we talk about it when we're talking about brainstorming and idea generation and coming up with ideas with your team. We talk about the fear of failure and how often we hold ourselves back from being really creative and really like giving our, our kind of off the wall ideas and approaches or unconventional thinking to a team because we're afraid of failing. And we talk about how that really holds us back from reaching what we're truly capable of. And I think that even though we talk about that in the context of brainstorming, we kind of carry that message through when we talk about everything from um, trying to work with your team in the right way and trying to figure out how to model the engineering problem you're working on or prototyping it. Um, sort of this idea that um, it can be kind of paralyzing to be fearful of failure, but that that's an uh, important part of the engineering process. And so as a leader, you can role model that acceptance of failure with your team 